Yeah, I, and this is part two. I'm coming back for part two. We just didn't have enough time. But the point that I was making to our brothers and sisters uh, in part one when I was in, uh, uh, in New York was that we are a wealthy people. We have every single thing that we need to succeed except each other. <laughs> we are a dispersed and disconnected people. And we have to fix that. And we have to connect the dots. We have to leverage more effectively our collective resources and intellectual capital. In other words, we have to network. And, and God ain't given us anything else <laughs> until we show God that we can be better stewards of that which we already have. <laughs> so this is up to us. Mm. The government is not going to do it. And white folks ain't going to fix it. White folks are fixing white folks. They ain't fixing black folks. Hispanics are fixing Hispanics. Asians are fixing Asians. Jews are fixing Jews. They ain't thinking about black people. We are free. We have civil rights, voting rights, and public access. And that's it. That's all we're getting. <laughs> we're going to have to do the rest. And I know that we can. And with brothers like Frank and that whole 1209 team, these are the kind, this is the kind of thinking that we have to act on in the 21st century. And that's why I'm coming back to Harlem to give my recipe, my plan, my program, uh, what, what I believe are the six most important things that black people must start doing in the morning. <laughs> and I'm going to lay it out, and I'm going to teach point by point those six things that each person can do. There they, they would, they would be six things that everybody can do. They're, they're, they're not things that are theoretical or academic or take some massive amount of resources or money. These are six things that every Negro, when they get up in the morning, <laughs> can do themselves <laughs> to improve their state. King Kong is coming. <laughs> That's right. Improve their state. Uh, improve, their, improve their condition and improve their community. And it's around making money and it's around wealth. So... That's what I'm looking forward to talking about when I meet with the brothers and sisters. I'm going to announce on Thursday a new program for our young people that we are going to fund at FraserNet. And we're going to make a $350 million investment in our students from 17 ages, the age of 17 to 25. If you are a student, because we focus on education, right. if you are a student, I don't care if you're in technical school, vocational school, you're in a computer class, if you're in college, that's wonderful. So long as you are a student between 17 and 25, you will be able to go to the FraserNet.com website, hit on a button called the YesNet. We're starting a new program called the YesNet. The YesNet is the Youth Empowered to Succeed Network. Let me repeat that. The Youth Empowered to Succeed Network. This is a network for young students, 17 to 25, and all of the resources that we have available at FraserNet. The 52,000 top black professionals, business owners, and community leaders in our network uh, my book, Success Runs in Our Race, can be downloaded free of charge. All of our resources for one million young people will be free of charge. We will provide one million memberships. An average me youth student membership typically costs about $350. We're going to give out one million of them free of charge. And for that, you get access to all of our products and services, workshops, seminars, conference, books, directories, and networks at no cost to you. But you've got to be a student. So this is our outreach to our young people. That's this is powerful. our commitment to our young people. <clears throat> and we're going to launch it Thursday uh, at the 1209 Affair. King Kong comes to Harlem Twitter countdown so you can follow us on Twitter, um, twitter.com slash the 1209 affair. And we'll be monitoring activities going on from what 1209 is doing until 
George actually gets to the event will also be with uh, Tony at the Economic um, Summit during the day. So it'll be real exciting. So make sure you guys follow us and see what George is up to when he gets to New York. Henry, anything that you'd like to say? Just looking forward to seeing you, George. I know you're going to make it happen. We had some It'll be here. awesome, and looking forward to seeing you and uh, and everybody. I mean, I know it's going to be a, a, a very nice turnout, and uh, the weather's going to cooperate. So yeah, right. it's uh, going to be an exciting evening. Recycling dollars, building businesses, creating working jobs for our people is the only way to raise up the poor. And we have to do that. That has to be the macro plan for black people in America.